Okay, so um, everything's packed. I'm going to try to do this video on the iPhone. A uh, couple of things. Um, if you've seen my last video, um, 2016 gear list, basically every single thing plus more and food has been packed onto the bike. Now, this took me about 16, 17 different times, what he calls repacking, trying to find out what fits were and what better fits. Then you got to figure out what stuff you use on a regular basis. So, just give you a quick overview, okay? See post bag, okay? And on the top of that will be the laptop and the solar panel with a, a net, cargo net, okay? Now to fit around the back there, okay? Which I haven't just put on yet. Okay, so everything from the previous video, if you have not watched the previous video to look it up, you'll be surprised. Everything fits, okay? But as I say, it took me a few, a lot of attempts, okay? And then when I think I have it right, I realize, oh wait, didn't have enough room for food, you know? Certain things pack better than others, okay? So, it's just coming down to putting a balance between what you're going to use, how often you're going to use it, do you need access to it quickly, etc, etc, right? So, as you see, from the top, you got your seat post bag. And I got the solar on top. Got another bag here, and then I've got another bag here for handy little things. And then I got my cockpit, as I call it. Okay, iPhone I'm holding, which fits into that bracket. Okay, um, and then I add it. Well, I've got the speaker now, which points directly at me, and I can move it up and down. And also, it's a handle when I take it off the bike to you do videos okay that's the new gimbal so just switch it on and I added a microphone um, I noticed when I was doing videos when I was cycling along the um, it was pretty noisy or uh, sorry not noisy I couldn't pick up my voice when I was cycling so I added this um, also I've changed the sweet roll bag um, I do not like the design of the sweet roll bag, okay, or the handlebar bag. I just, it's just not practical. So I designed this, which connects to the bar yak. It stays, doesn't move at all, okay. So I'll show you this. What it is is the zip. I can just unzip it. I don't have to unclip anything. I don't have to what do you call it, fasten anything. I don't have to pull anything. It doesn't touch my what he called cables okay which you do have the problem with the uh, front bowl, front bowl, uh, front uh, roll bag okay so all I do now is just unzip it and I can take stuff out okay I just stuff it back in zip it back up okay um, the front forks um, are just attached with the many thing cage by JPEX okay um, that front fork is to carbon, so it's just connected with um, zip ties and electrical tape. The same on the other side, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you um, what I've packed inside, okay? And why I've packed it, okay? Um, as I say, this is a four season setup, complete four season, okay? Um, I can get down to uh, zero Fahrenheit. Um, with my sleep system with layers okay so I, as I said I've packed this 16 17 times and you think you have it and then you realize no nah, that's not right you know so what I've figured out is a couple of things one the sweet roll bag at the front um, which 99% of us uh, bike packers are using um, just as a pain in the ass, it is. You gotta unclip it. You gotta watch your cables. You gotta take it off. You gotta um, stuff everything in. Then you gotta put it back. Then you gotta unclip or clip it back in again. Pull it all tight. This design is just 
Brilliant. Okay. Um, simple. Unzip, pull out the stuff, stuff the stuff back in. Okay. So I'll start off with the back. All right. Now I used to keep under quilts and top quilts and some goose down jackets and uh, things inside this bag. Okay. But this is the second worst bag of bag packing. Um, not the design, well, not the material, not the, the, the wear and tear, okay? It's actually, this is over two years old, so it looks as good as the day I got it, you know? It's just not practical, right? You've got a couple of options. When you take, when you've got certain things inside, you unclip it. You pull out everything, okay, and then you got to stuff it all back in and try to fill in this area, okay, to keep the shape. You've got to get every single millimeter or inch packed, okay. So it's not practical, right? Um, so I decided this bag will be used for stuff that I don't take out on a daily basis, okay. So. What I've got in there right now is my full rain gear, okay? So I've basically got a refuge jacket, refuge pants, um, refuge socks, and um, uh, balaclava, um, basically sharp pass, complete rain set. Then I also have over here is the change of clothes, okay? Now, riding the bicycle, you know, I'm riding shorts and t-shirt most of the time, okay? And I'm not actually um, changing every single day, okay? I mean, you're gonna get sweaty, you might as well put on the same clothes. There's no point of putting on fresh clothes every single day. So it's a part of bike packing life, you know, you're gonna stink, okay? So, spur clothes is all here. Then down here is all my goose down, okay? Um, which. I don't actually use unless it's winter, right? So basically the winter stuff won't be pulled out until it's winter, right? Okay. Um, so this bag doesn't really get unpacked at all, okay? Maybe reach in from here, pull out just the rain jacket. Now everything is in a, um, a C-Packs bag. Um, so we've got three C-Packs bags in there. Right. The reason why is none of these bags are 100% waterproof. Okay. The ones that I have. Right. I know there's new stuff coming out and there's stuff already on the market that say they're 100% waterproof. But I would still use the CPAX bags, and I tell you why. If and I have done this before, I have taken clothes that have gotten wet and I have shoved them into the uh, seat post bag, and they contaminate every other piece of clothing I have you know, especially in the heat and they're damp and they smell and all my clothes get ruined. So what I do is I separate it. It stays in a CPAX bag, it keeps it clean. I can throw in dirty clothes into it and it doesn't bother me because the CPAX, my other stuff are in a CPAX bag, they're kept clean, all right? So as I say, this is something I don't unpack on a daily basis, okay? All right, second thing is this. This is by uh, Threadworks, okay? Um, same company as the C Post bag. Very well made. It's actually the best zip. As you can see, the zip over two years is still 100% sealed. And I jam this. So what I've put in here is basically my first aid kit and my um, tools and my repair kit for my tent. Okay. So all are not my tent. Sorry, my tarp. Okay. Um, so repair kit for tarp, medical kit, and hang. Easy to get access to, right? Okay, that doesn't change in any season. As I say, this is a four season setup. Even though if I was going on for a weekend, I would still always have this, okay? Second thing is, or well, the third thing, this bag, okay? This bag is awesome, okay? Here, headlamp, as you notice, I do not have a light on my bike, okay? Good thing about backpacking, you try to make as multiple uses as possible. So there's a headlamp. Tattoo sleeves. Stop me from burning instead of bringing cream. Little pump. 
and lots of trail butter okay and more trail butter okay that's an American company pretty good stuff okay um, then if it does start to rain uh, my little gaiters to fit over my boots okay I keep in here also my um, which one is that that's my backpack okay see the summit all right mosquito net okay and my toolkit and my little um, GoPro uh, tool for adjusting what he calls the GoPro camera okay uh, off its mount okay so that's there right that doesn't change that's all what it would take out for a weekend or a long week or a four season round the world setup that's always the same and so is this okay now on the front I have my water bottle which is a camelback and it's one of those ones that keeps the water really cold okay little tip if you're cycling in the winter put the water in upside down okay it freezes from the top down so if you're cycling normally in the winter this or any water bottle is going to freeze top to the bottom so you can't actually drink anything because the whole thing's frozen here so recommend when you're cycling in the winter just put it up like that okay um, second thing is my hammock and my um, uh, straps okay and third thing is my tarp and the guidelines another water bottle okay same principle when you're riding in the winter just put it upside down okay so then here in this little sea bag bag I keep water filter so I can pull over and get dirty water and fill it up okay bike lock is here okay not the greatest bike lock in the world more of a deterrent okay then the front uh, okay the front um, is basically tripod and I've mounted the speaker so I can actually listen to music and stuff pointed to me in direction and it's waterproof so it's great okay second thing is the new gadget which I've just ordered um, and it arrived about a few weeks ago um, is basically a gimbal now a little bit of advice on a gimbal putting it on your forks is not or on your handlebar okay I put it on my bar yak okay which love okay is not the best place to put it for stability I've seen better shots when you have it connected to your body okay when it's connected to your body because your body's taking most of the shock okay it does its job okay so but generally it's better to have it attached to your chest okay so that's thing. the mic is great really happy with the mic okay um, really picks up everything actually picks up too much okay then I have this new thing which got made as I said I unzip this oh, one-handed in here pillow okay change of clothes this is my compression wear okay so when I get to um, camp I just switch into compression wear okay recovery and then my top quilt and bottom quilt for my hammock so that all fits in there okay so you can see the size of my hand not very much space and definitely not a lot of weight because it's good stuff all right next thing is um, as I say I used to pack this okay um, I used to have this just rain gear and then the other one was closed okay um, but as I said I found it's better to put everything in the back seat stuff that I'm not accessing this is an easy bag to access it's not a, a hassle I can just unclip pull it out here now is solid food okay and an air mattress at the very very bottom okay it's a climate air mattress okay um, so this is solid food right I believe I can do 10 days 15 days max with the amount of food I can pack in this okay the same on this side I also have a bivy okay that's a part of my sleep system to bring it down um, 
to colder temperature, which reflects about 70% of my heat, they say. Okay, then I have my alcohol stove, uh, cook set, and more food. Okay, so these are about five liters each um, in um, context. Okay, and I say they're just attached with cable ties and electrical tape, and they do not move. The cage just doesn't move, it is solid. Okay, I know people are putting them on clips. Um, um, to their bike. As I say, this is carbon, so I can't do that. The other thing is with um, the clips, I have seen people that put them on the clips and little bolts built into the forks and they have broke. So I don't even recommend doing that. I recommend just going straight to the zip ties and the electrical tape. Don't use clamps, obviously, if you have carbon. Just use zip ties, electrical tape. It works. Then my fuel is down here. Okay. Easy access. All right. Um, in here, I have basically, because I'm a gadget head, I have my electronics and my sh um, Shepherd, okay, 1000 or 100 Shepherd, which powers all my stuff, okay, and cables um, from all my electronic cables are here. Then down here, I have my wash kit. So I like being organized, right? Okay, so if you can see the setup, I've seen a lot of people that when they do their backpacking, they're trying to fit everything in. If they have a space there, throw something there. But I like to be organized. Simple. Clothes, repair kit, including medical kit, okay? Electronics, okay? Wash kit and um, hygiene, okay? All here. On the other side, I have um, my wallet in a CPAC bag and passport, okay? And a little hatchet, okay? And a couple of zip ties and things like that, okay? There, I say just daily use stuff, okay? Water bottle, shelter, shelter, sleep system, okay? And food. I know where everything is. I don't have to go and plunder and say, oh, where did I park this? Or, or sorry, where did I put this? Where did I put that? Everything's easy access. As I said again, clothes, all in here. Okay? And I even, even within the organization of having stuff, the first thing I need to pull out is always on top. So the first thing here is my rain jacket. I just unclip, pull out the rain jacket from the Z-Packs bag. Okay? So... Clothes and first aid, electronics, wash kit, shelter, shelter, water supply, camera system, sleep system, okay, and food. That's it. So I say I could talk forever on these uh, on bike packing and how to pack. And as I said, I packed it so many bloody times, you know. Um, there's no right or no wrong way, okay? I mean, everybody's different. But this way worked for me, okay? It's easy access, especially since I got rid of the sweet roll bag, okay? The seat post bag, I still need, okay? Um, even though I don't like the concept of it, okay? Even though it's well made by the company and it's what basically out there, okay? This is what everybody's doing, so... Um, it's just nice to know that clothes really fit is a good thing to put in here. Just, just pack it with clothes, okay? Now, I'm just going to do another quick thing just to let you know, all right? This system, the way I have it, okay, if I'm just going for a weekend or a four or five day trip, okay, the sea post bag gets completely removed. I don't need to bring spare clothes okay all right i would take out the rain jacket and i would take out a goose down jacket and a pair of socks okay wear what i'm wearing and if it rains put on a rain jacket hang also all the electronics from here okay this would stay for a weekend trip and a few day trip this would stay water stays shelter stays shelter stays water stays electronic stays and sleep system stays what i would remove is the food bags that one and that one okay 
So imagine the bag without the mini fin cage bags and the seat post. Then all the electronics that are in here get completely removed, power supplies and everything like that there. And I just put in the small titanium cooker set and fill that with food. So that's it, what he called. And I'm not juggling around stuff, I'm not moving stuff from A to B to do that there. I'm just basically removing the seat post bag, removing these two bags. Now I'm for free season setup, weekend or um, or four or five day setup, you know. So that's it. Um, as you can see, I'm still in the same apartment. <laughs> so I haven't moved much. Um, a lot of things have been happening. Um, um, actually, I've been totally and utterly lazy the last four or five months. Okay, just focus on my bike. Um, what happened was when I arrived here, if you've watched my previous video, I was renting this place. Um, got talking to the owner, the investor, and he knew that I'd done hotels and uh, management and stuff like that there for years, just finished Maldives. So he basically said, Hey, you want to take over the place? So now I'm actually with my partner, Sang, um, is running the whole hotel, apartments. So there are 12 of them. I keep one for people who are in warm showers. So if you're on a warm shower, a member, and you're traveling through Vietnam, you need a place to crash, you got an apartment free of charge. Okay, so you got it for a couple of days. Um, so just give me a shout on warm showers. Okay. Um, now the funny thing is the investor said, the owner says, hey, how long does it take you to fill this hotel? I mean, all these apartments. There's 12 of them. I says, oh, it'll take me about a month. Phoned him back after four days and says, look, I'm sorry, I can't fill it after a month. And he goes, ah, oh, don't worry, you're a bit far from the city center. And I said, no, 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 I filled it in four days. So I've been full for the last uh, six months, yeah, since March, whatever that is, maybe February. So I've been completely full. Easy enough hotels. You know, I'm not making money. You know, my partner, she's making the money. Um, but um, yeah. it's a good life, you know, gets me anything. So, okay, so I'll say this video went pretty long. As is usual, I don't edit them. I'm just going to upload it. Okay, and see how it goes. Uh, oh, say hello. No. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> I finished my videos to the last part. Say hello. hello. <laughs> Sang has her own fat bag and she makes bags. She made that bag for me and that's her sewing machine which is making. This is 1920s or so. Okay, so have fun. Don't forget to subscribe and um, if you haven't checked out the other video, check it out. Okay, so bye.